Welcome to the Deep Dive. Today, we're uh, pulling back the curtain on Epic Systems. You know, that unseen digital force that's running behind the scenes in so much of modern healthcare. Yeah, it really is. Every time you visit a hospital or your doctor, there's this incredibly complex machinery making sure your records are managed properly, efficiently. I'm always fascinated by how deeply it gets integrated. So our mission today is really to explore what makes Epic so, well, pivotal. And pivotal is definitely the word. What's really striking, I think, is just the sheer scale of Epic's reach. They run something called Epicosmos. That's their term for this huge anonymous health data network. Epicosmos, okay. Yeah, and we're talking uh, data linked from 296 million patients. That's across more than 1,000 hospitals and nearly 40,000 clinics. Wow, 296 million. Mm -hmm. It's enormous. And it's not just, you know, storing records passively. Think about it. This kind of data set lets researchers spot really subtle patterns, like how effective a drug is across different groups or maybe even predict certain conditions way more accurately. Okay, I see. So it's driving research. Exactly. Real-world evidence studies, big health analytics, clinical benchmarking, all that crucial research stuff. That's the power behind it. That scale is genuinely mind-boggling. <laughs> but, okay, bring it down to the listener. For you, the patient, what's your most sort of direct window into this system? Right. Well, if you've ever used a patient portal online. Yeah, like to check lab results or message my doctor. Precisely. Chances are you've bumped into Epic's MyChart. That's their patient-facing portal. It's really designed to put you more in control. Okay. You can view those lab results, yeah, message providers, ask for prescription refills, schedule appointments, even manage health details for family members. And I think I saw it handled video visits now, too. Yeah and connects with wearables. It does, video visits, wearable device integration. It's really aiming to be that central connection point for your care. So my chart is kind of the tip of the iceberg for the patient. Exactly, it brings Epic right to your fingertips. But behind that, for the actual clinics and hospitals, my chart is just one piece of this a uh, much bigger, really comprehensive toolkit. Right. Epic builds specific EHR modules, electronic health record modules for different medical specialties. Think oncology or cardiology. Oh, okay. So tailored tools. Tailored tools, yeah. yeah. Often used by independent practices or clinics that need that specific focus. Then for the bigger players, large hospitals, health systems, they use Epic's core platform, which internally they call hyperspace. Hyperspace. Yeah. Sounds futuristic. <laughs> Maybe a bit, but it's the main interface for managing, well, everything. Patient records, scheduling, billing, clinical decision making. It supports that seamless integration across all the different departments. Gotcha. And the reach goes even further. It touches things like post-acute care facilities, helps coordinate with insurance companies, the payers, and even streamlines things for urgent care centers, convenient care settings. Okay, so it's really woven through almost every part of the system. Yeah. But what really makes it stand out, you know, connects all these different bits. I hear a lot about their approach to uh, interoperability and using new tech. How does that digital glue work? Yeah, that's absolutely fundamental to their strategy. They have something called Open Epic. It's essentially their API platform. It lets developers and other systems plug into the Epic EHR. Okay, API. So like a standardized way for software to talk to each other? Exactly. And it follows FHIR standards. That's FHIR, Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources. It's the industry standard now. This is really crucial for sharing data smoothly between different systems, different providers. And they enable that using features like Care Everywhere. Care Everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's Epic's own secure network built right in, designed specifically for sharing data easily between different places that also use Epic. I see. Makes sense. And then there's the AI and machine learning piece. They're embedding that quite deeply now, using it for predictive analytics, things like predicting the risk of a patient being readmitted to the hospital. Oh, interesting. Proactive stuff. Very proactive. And also natural language processing to help automate charting. The idea is to, you know, improve care outcomes, definitely, but also reduce clinician burnout from all the documentation. Which is a huge issue. Massive issue. And just boost overall efficiency. Imagine AI handling some of the note-taking burden, freeing up clinicians to actually talk more with patients or flagging risks before they become serious problems, that's game-changing potential. That really does sound incredibly powerful for both care quality and just making doctors' lives easier. Uh, what about the challenges? 
integrating this across so many different places must be complex. It is, definitely. The scale alone is a hurdle. Yeah. But uh, Epic actually fosters a community to help with that. They have Epic Share. It's a public-facing platform, sort of a collaboration hub. Oh, so users can connect. Yeah, exactly. Epic users can go there to share best practices, work together on things, get updates directly from Epic. It helps tackle those common challenges collectively. That's a smart approach, leveraging the user base. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if we connect this all back to the bigger picture, what Epic has built is this foundational, really integrated ecosystem. It powers so many different parts of modern healthcare, from your personal care via MyShard, all the way up to huge public health research projects and just making hospitals and clinics run more smoothly. It's all interconnected. It's pretty incredible how it shapes so much of your healthcare journey, often completely invisibly, quietly, but uh, profoundly. Which, yeah, it raises a really important question, I think. When you consider this immense amount of anonymized patient data Epic holds and how they're layering in advanced AI, what does that mean for the future? What fundamental shifts might we see in how healthcare is delivered globally? And, you know, how will these technologies keep redefining what patient care actually looks like for all of us? Definitely a lot to reflect on there, isn't it? Something to think about those unseen forces shaping your health experience. Until next time, stay curious.